<clears throat> there we go. Had to take a break there for a minute. Let the place fume out of, you know, air out a little bit because of the gas fumes and whatnot. Um, we have definitely got some buildup around here. Now that particular hole is just a idle air control hole, I believe. Or a vacuum port. Nope, it's a vacuum port. There it is. That's just that vacuum port that uh, the one I was cracked and hooked up to. So what I'm thinking is that stuff is very squishy. And it is definitely antifreeze-like. Because it's orangish. And you get it on your fingers, it's slick like antifreeze. So these seals, which over here are all nice and squishy, they're uh, pretty soft. You can definitely tell they have been a little kind of eaten away at, is what I would call it. They're uh, they're soft, and it's yeah. There you go. See, it's kind of flaking away. I mean, it's like super soft. And uh, it's like soaked into that rubber. And that disappeared. And I will never see that again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Either way. I really don't need that anymore. Uh, those are not supposed to come out of there. Those should stay in there. Just like those other ones. Because here is our replacement and they are they are molded into there just like these other ones and I'm still saying that very well could be the culprit because what I'm thinking is because of the way those look all squishy and chunky and soft if those started to lose their sealing properties that could have started seeping between here running around here and then out the side I'm not saying that's a hundred percent for sure but that is a very good possibility so I think I'm still gonna do the lower kinda thinking I'd really like to just try this run it for a little while but but then I would have to take all this stuff back off again. So I understand the reasoning with people wanting to go ahead and do the upper and the lower at the same time. Because this could solve the problem. But then I'm only another 70 bucks in it to pull the lower, reseal it, and know for sure that it's not that and not this. So, I, th I think that's where we're going to go. I think we're going to go ahead and do it anyways. Good opportunity to compare all your holes, your marks, your clips. This little tube thing will have to transfer over and clip back into here. This is a Felpro gasket, by the way. Uh, obviously, it's got our two seals that aren't in that one anymore. This one's still there. That one's there. Got these little guide things. Must be something to help kind of keep it in place, keep it from moving around, help line things up when you're starting to reinstall it. So, yeah, that's looks like a good quality gasket. So, what we got here is uh, all the gaskets that came in this upper plenum kit. We have throttle body. So, we will eventually pull that throttle body and just go ahead and stick a new seal on it. I mean, I got it and I paid for it. Uh, this is map sensor ordering, but I'm wondering if it means idle air control valve. Maybe that is a map sensor. Yeah, I guess that could be a map sensor. I guess these things really don't have idle air control because this is electronic throttle body, so it doesn't have to have idle air like the uh, cable operated ones. So, option to pull that and replace that if I want. That says water tube seal. Now, that one does have my head scratching just a little bit. I am assuming this is for some other application. 
because it's definitely not for that tube because that's not water. These are the only two water ports on this thing. There's no external water ports. So probably just a universal thing where this fits another application would be my guess. Um, what did the box say? This little critter here, I am definitely assuming is the water manifold. Now, what is a little bit interesting with that is, I do believe, and surely it's got to be, it's got to be that guy right there. But, uh, that pipe's in the way. You can, this one's going to come off, but really you wouldn't even be able to get to that very easily unless you pulled the lower intake manifold. So, yeah, that's an interesting one. Why they would include that with the upper plenum when that is not that easy to get to. I mean, once we pull this out of the way, I'm sure the bolts, as long as the bolts ain't super long, they probably would come out. But man, they're going to be really tight. And it's even tighter over here because this manifold angles. So, yeah. That one's kind of got me a little perplexed, but um, very good possibility this could be another leak point. Um, if this proves to not have been the leak point, then maybe that thing's leaking on the bottom. I mean, all they got's dirt and crusties, but I can feel that gasket kind of sticking out. And the bottom side of that manifold is kind of grody, but. I don't know. Obviously, if we're going to pull that lower intake, we're going to go ahead and replace it anyway, so it will be taken care of. So let's go ahead and continue on here. Let's go ahead and um, get some stuff out of our way here so we don't knock this off and break it. I'll bring this guy over here, set him down on top of the other gasket set. There we go. Room. Let's go ahead and pull this thermostat housing. It's been a while since I've had this off. Looks like we're going for three quarters. That has got a little too much flex. Let's go. Well, how about that? That deep well socket set doesn't go down to nine. Holy buckets. Or eight, but actually, isn't that a ten? Oh, my, my silliness. That's a ten. Okay. Moving on here. See if we can try not to lose any of this other stuff here. Holy crap. That was tight. Ooh. Um, yeah, I definitely don't remember tightening those that tight. Wow. Okay. Put them two down in there. Okay. Perfect. Put him right there. There is... Little residual antifreeze still hanging out in there. Not a lot. Uh, well, a little bit more than I thought there was. Might try to see if I can soak that up. Hopefully, I can keep uh, most of that out of the. Uh, All right, I think we are ready to try to not lose any more of these sockets. I think we're gonna take these uh, bracket off back here. 
Trying to get myself into a position of leverage. Make sure. Oh man, another tight one. Holy buckets. Gosh, I have to, uh, I have to get some breaker bars out for some of these. Holy cow, there we go. Ooh. Holy moly. Those have probably been the two tightest ones I have dealt with yet. Okay, now you guys remember which bolts go where. I think all we got left is doing all these lower intake manifolds. Bolts. Oh no. We need to do those. Um, was that the 13? I bet you it was. Wait a minute. Did I get a 13? I don't think I did. <gasps> the 12. The hunt is on. 13! Oh my goodness, I guessed right for once. <clears throat> okay, that one wasn't too bad. I am definitely happy about that. Ooh, that bolt is definitely a longing. Get over there with you. Now, same thing here. That's good. Okay, over there. That one. Oh, cool. It wiggled. Hey, that came out. Perfect. All right. A lot of people told me those can be a real booger to get out because they get all carboned up in there. So that makes me happy. Everything worked out good there. Uh, yeah, from further investigation, there is no way you're going to get that bolt out for that, uh, that cap in that gasket there. Not one bit. So, uh, yeah, not going to happen. That does have a lot of crustiness on it. I wonder if that could be leaking too. I really wonder. Cause that's pretty crusty right there, and there's nothing else that would leak right there except for antifreeze. So I think I'm glad I'm pulling this lower intake because uh, I think that definitely is the one that needs to be replaced too. So I think we're gonna we're gonna eliminate a lot of possible leaks. Um, you could take that off, but oh man, you definitely would risk twisting those off because. Exhaust bolts are one of those things, man. They lock on there, rust on there, heat and cool cycle. Odds of ever getting those off without causing problems or snapping them, yeah. I definitely wouldn't worry about trying to take that pipe off to do that. I think it would be much easier and a lot less work to uh, to pull the manifold, lower manifold. So, uh, uh, if you've seen other videos, if you've done some looking around, you will find out there is a bolt hiding in a puddle of oil there. And there is also one back in here. So two here, two there. Two there, two there, one, one, one. Or no, sorry, one, 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 one. So we got two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Should have twelve of these bolts, and that lower intake should be then clear ready to go okay that one was a little stiff
There's my last one, hopefully. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve. Two super oily ones. The rest of them did have a little bit of oil on them, too. Definitely will clean those off a little bit. We'll uh, set these off to the side there. Probably should be wearing my gloves. Probably wouldn't be getting nearly as dirty as I am, but oh well. You live and you learn. Okie dokie. So, what I'm seeing, it looks like everything should be out. I think we are ready to give it a small amount of pry. I have replaced those elbows before. It has been a couple of years. I'm really hoping they're still in good shape and I can slowly work it out without breaking it. I do have a tendency to get brittle after a while. They, uh, Heat and cooling cycles just are not very nice on those things. So hopefully everything will be okay. Uh, let's kick this out of the way. Pry bar of my destructive choice. Let's see, right? Oh, she wiggled. That's a good start. That's all it wanted to do was do a little tiny wiggle and quit. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Let's give it a wiggle. Give it a wiggle. And a jiggle. Now, can... This is going to be the one. It's either going to stop me for the weekend or it's not. Okay. It does not want to come out of the deal. What do we got to do here, bud? I don't want you to break, but I need you to come out. Man, she's gonna be stubborn as a mule. Oh, I think she just came loose. 
I think she just came loose. That would be awesome. Looks like she's protruding a little. Come on. Yes! I think we have success. Oh man. This thing is going to be dripping. I'm just going to set him outside here for a second. I was uh, not thinking about uh, digging out one of my pans or my boxes. Whoops. Oh, come on, let's just clean this thing. Uh, wow, look at that crustiness on that water coolant crossover. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Um, here, let's get you in here. Man, look at that. Some nice crusty buildup. Wow. So, even though I have flushed this before, apparently there are still places where uh, that stuff is just going to stay nice and crusty in there. Holy buckets. Crazy. Crazy disgusting. There's a chunk right there too. Okay, that side doesn't feel that bad. Okay. Let's see uh oil off of here. Um, man, large drain pan, I guess, I'll just set it on top of this thing, that's about all I got at the moment. Okay, we, uh, you can definitely tell it was a little seepy right there. Which is definitely one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and replace these. Really doesn't look too bad over there. And, of course, that's. Oh yeah, that seal came completely apart. That seal was not supposed to come off of the lower piece, so yeah, it was uh, getting kind of bad too. There's the uh, the rest of it. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I think we're definitely good that we uh, pulled this to go ahead and do. The, uh, the lower intake counterbalance shaft kind of an interesting little deal there well we didn't drop too much junk down in there that's good looks like this one's still stuck to the head definitely got some sealer on it
definitely got some good mileage out of it. Man, crusty around them ports. That's insane. Alright. Alright, alright, as Matthew McConaughey would say. Alright, let's uh let's go ahead and set him upright. There is our other seal. And our other intake manifold seal. Looks like they do use a good chunk of uh sealer on the side there. Wow. Oh, those ones are stuck real good compared to the other side. Wow. Okay, uh only got one that goes completely across it looks like. And that one does not exist. Just a block off. And set him all the way upside down. Bottom side looks pretty clean. That's awesome. Not sure what that is, but uh, cool. I think I think we're looking okay. Hopefully, shouldn't be too hard to uh, clean all this up, including myself. I am very happy that that did not break. So that's cool. It will be interesting to try to uh, get that back in there. Yeah, um, let me give you guys a break from this for a minute while I uh, do some cleaning here. Um, standard cleaning, don't think I'm going to run into too much here. These are uh, iron heads and an iron block. So, a uh, scotch bright pad for a couple of spots, probably just a regular scraper. Clean up, uh, I'll try to put a paper towel across the bottom there to catch each of the sides try to make sure I uh, stuff something in the holes there so nothing gets into those so that's where we are going to break for just a little bit won't be too long for you but be a little bit longer for me going to go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up get the gaskets ready, look them over, kind of situate things, make sure everything looks like it's good to go. And we'll uh, try our hand at some reassembly. So I will be back here shortly. See you then.